Do this task once and access the data hundreds to thousands of times depending on your grant. It is a huge time saver and maximizes your reimbursement. In this episode, we'll take a closer look at Tempest Gems and the features you'll use during the early phases of the FEMA Public Assistance Grant Program lifecycle. We aim to show grant management best practices using grant management software. My name is Christina Moore. I'm a member of a disaster relief grant management team that built Tempest Gems to help others through this process. We have responded to natural disasters since 2012 as experts in staying within the FEMA rules, the Stafford Act, 2 CFR 200, and using grant management software. We're here to help you rebuild better. We are providing grant management best practices so that you and your team will learn how to manage FEMA grants. If you appreciate this presentation, please share it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell. Today on the 19th of April, 2020, Patriots Day in Boston, where I was born, I think of what it takes to pull together to overcome adversity. In recent weeks, we've seen evidence of conflict and confusion even within this ensconced process of FEMA Public Assistance Grant Program. We'll take a look at this together. I've observed my own attitudes flipping between anxiety and the worry of a no-timer and the longer view taken by the old warrior. Back in the olden days, FEMA managed public assistance with electronic spreadsheets. It's not a good solution, but it worked. Spreadsheets destroy collaboration millions of problems with version control, and there's typos and math problems. A few years ago, FEMA developed the Grants Portal as a tool to help applicants complete their grant application. This also aids FEMA in reducing their labor costs. FEMA can pull staff to an office to write the scope and step through the approval processes. It's hugely expensive for FEMA to put human beings into communities devastated by disasters, and it increased risks, too. The Grants Portal is not a grant management system designed for states or applicants. It is a means to complete the grant application in the wake of or in the middle of a disaster. Tempest Gems is a grant management software application that is used by states and by applicants. We built this tool to serve the long-term goals such as reimbursement of funds, guidelines on procurement execution, scorecards on documentation status, we aim to prevent you from having unsupported costs and give you tools to identify potential duplicate costs. The target for grant management is a successful closeout and recovery of all possible money within the framework of the law and grant rules. Tempest Gems, while it can be bought and provided by a federal agency, is normally provided by a state or territory or bought by an applicant. Software serves the needs of the owner. It's not an us or them, taste great, less filling argument. Two systems are not competing. They do different jobs differently. But in the early days, it can feel like there's two systems needing data. FEMA Grants Portal works with you to get a completed application and a grant awarded with funds obligated. No grant, no money. Tempest Gems takes the long view on closeout and reimbursement with guidance on policies. Two players on the same team. Tempest Gems Strength. One, our software excels at calculating force account labor, equipment and material costs. Nothing beats us on this process. We generate PDF forms designed by FEMA. Two, our software excels at guiding you through the contradictory processes and help you identify steps and documents for each. You have a decision to make. You decide when to start using Tempest Gems, immediately or later. We'll come back to that in a bit. To help you assess these early steps, we're going to examine the first step you will take in Tempest Gems, such as the employee roster with fringe rates, equipment lists, material lists. If it were me, I would use each tool to their strength. I'd capture data in Tempest Gems early. I'd need it there for my closeout. Tempest Gems generates the forms and data needed for the portal. I'll pull reports from Tempest Gems to upload them to the portal. Keep working in Tempest Gems. Eventually, when the grant is awarded, I'll make sure that my draft and the final version from FEMA get merged. Then I'll keep moving. Category B or Cat B grants that fund emergency protective measures tend to involve significant force account labor. The grants portal and the state's reimbursement process requires accurate and detailed force account labor, equipment, and material reporting. Labor costs are based on the fringe rate as the FEMA billing rate and the hours dedicated to completing tasks that are within the scope of the grant. Sometimes these hours are limited to just overtime, 
so the hours are a subset of all hours worked. And the billing rate is not the pay rate. This means you can't just hand FEMA your payroll records. You must take additional steps to calculate your labor costs. Equipment costs must correspond to the FEMA equipment schedule authorized for the disaster, typically a year or two prior. They adjust the rates based on fuel costs and inflation. Equipment has a four-digit code and a predetermined billing rate. Databases do this sort of work better than spreadsheets. Why? Databases excel at data integrity with lookups and supporting mechanisms and users collaborating. Spreadsheets are a distant second place. PDF forms should not even be in play. In our episode, How to Prepare to Receive Emergency Funds, we discuss calculating fringe rate. If you missed that, please go back and take a look. Also, the FEMA Papa G, the Public Assistance Program Policy Guide, provides minimal help, but it is defined there. Tempest Gems needs your employee roster. Best if this is exported directly from your payroll system. Do not provide social security numbers or any portion thereof. Do not provide dates of birth. Do not provide home addresses. Just first name, last name, employee ID number, and the various rates. Storm Petrol provides an upload template in an Excel format. Export from your payroll system as a CSV. Make the adjustments for rates formatted to match our template. We'll provide that template in the links on our website and in our knowledge base. Your data must be presented to us in the format that we specify or we'll kick it back. We provide the upload service for free. We're not going to shift your columns around. If you get the columns lined up, we can upload hundreds of staff members quickly. Let's look at the employee profile in Tempest Gems. Very basic stuff. First name, last name, ID, title, department, exempt, non-exempt, and an unlimited number of rates. No protected confidential information, please. We'll click in and look at the data entry page. Same information, just in a neat web form. Tab between the fields or click with your mouse. Blue buttons save and move you through. Red buttons delete. Green buttons add. And gray buttons are benign actions like cancel or back. The important bit here are the rates. Tempest Gems can accommodate an unlimited number of employee rates. We suggest tagging them with the year to help track raises and such. And yes, if you look at that, the overtime, the OT rate, and the regular rate look close together. This is because the regular rate is loaded up with fringe costs such as holidays and benefits. The OT rate has fewer burdens on it, so they come close together. In addition to the employee roster, you'll want to upload key documents such as the fringe rate calculation, personnel policy, overtime policy, and union contracts. These are applicant documents, which means they'll get shared with all grants. Before jumping to the next topic, we'll take a look at the FEMA payroll data report. You'll find this under the grants and the grants reports on the menu to the left in blue. You hit generate, boom, you're done ready to upload to the grants portal or ready to submit as part of your reimbursement packet. Stick around for the next episode and learn how to have the time it takes to enter and calculate labor, equipment, and material costs while omitting errors with one simple tool. We'll look at equipment now. Traditionally, the FEMA equipment schedule emphasizes stuff needed during weather-based disasters. We'll see what guidance they have for COVID-19 and medical equipment. Local government is using equipment during this disaster. Police, fire, EMS, digging equipment, refrigerated trucks, and modalities needed for testing sites, clinics, and pop-up hospitals, and morgue services. Equipment setup is under the applicant menu. The result of your work will link your equipment to the correct FEMA equipment rate schedule. Tag it with the FEMA cost code, and you'll be ready to print the perfect FEMA equipment inventory report for your uploads. The first step is the selection of the FEMA equipment schedule designated for your disaster. Second, you'll use our software to find the right item. Type in an army style or government style, you know, kind of backwards, such as truck, comma, dump, or just search dump. You'll need to select the line that best matches your equipment. If it isn't precise, select the smaller one. OIG will ding you for picking the larger one. They did that for Puerto Rico sewers, PRASA. The data entry is fast and efficient. It is best that your team does it. Selecting the match is a business decision you make. When done, 
You'll print the FEMA Equipment Inventory, which is shown. This is under the Grants, Grants Report menu. Make the PDF and upload it to the Grants Portal. Another step towards your grant award and a step towards closeout. We are providing you a special FEMA Quest freebie called Setting Up Cost Reporting, Hints and Hacks. This serves as a reminder to avoid the pitfalls along the journey through FEMA grants. Click the links below to download this guide. Part of the Tempest Gems job is to provide you with guideposts. We want you to expertly know how to manage disaster relief grants. We've spent a few minutes discussing the setup of your environment to work alongside the FEMA grants portal. Tempest Gems is fast and accurate at doing labor and equipment costs. If you do that data entry here, you can export the FEMA reports and do the summary data entry in the FEMA Grants Portal. Let's look at a guidepost. This one informs you about the status of your applicant data. Here we can see that this applicant is missing the FIPS code. Oh, and there's no contact people. Without contact people for the applicant, the email notification process won't work. Below this is a summary of the applicant's data, number of employees, equipment, that sort of thing. We're not engaged in a binary argument with FEMA systems. We work alongside each system to their own strength. Our Tempest Gems is amazing at closeout, compliance, document tracking, and financial tracking. We are fast and accurate for calculating labor costs. Additionally, our data prints on FEMA reports. That makes it fast and easy to upload to the FEMA Grants Portal. Did you find this helpful? Do you have questions? Let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of upcoming episodes. There's a link to our guides below. Please share this material with colleagues. Post about us and our efforts on your favorite social media platform. 